Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation of the Vector Search Engine Weaviate. I'm Laura Ham. I'm a Community Solution Engineer at Semi Technologies, and in this presentation, I will introduce you to our open source Vector Search Engine Weaviate. First, first, let's take a look at data, and particularly about unstructured data. Unstructured data are forms of data that are not organized in a predefined manner. Take, for, for example, big pieces of text. We learned that 93% of your data stay, stays unused and is unstructured, and that 80% of businesses don't know how to use their unstructured data in favor of their business. Why is this so difficult? What's so difficult about unstructured data? One thing that is difficult is searching through un unstructured data, uh, for example, to answer business questions. Let me give you an example, a simple example of searching through unstructured data. If you want to find information from unstructured text, you will need to use exact matching of keywords to find an answer. If you look, for example, for a wine that fits with your seafood dinner, while wine in your database only tells you that, it's, that it is good with fish, you will most likely not find this wine. If you instead use a vector uh, and search engine like Weaviate, um, you can find information in unstructured data based on semantics. Compare this with Google search. If you ask Google a very abstract question, it might find an answer. The question here, what color of wine is Chardonnay, is very abstract. Still, Google search finds exactly this answer um, from a particular data node. So the question is, how does Google find exactly this answer from exactly this data node? And how can we predict the relation between this answer and the question that we uh, asked? And in addition, how can we do this so fast? So the main question here is, uh, yeah, what could you do? What if you could do the same with your own data uh, in a simple and secure way? So the answer that we came up with is uh, Weaviate. Weaviate is a database that uses machine learning to understand the data that is in it. So Weaviate is a cloud-native, modular, real-time vector search engine that is built to scale your machine learning models. So as I said, Weaviate is a vector search engine. So first, let's dive in what vector search actually is. Weaviate stores data as vectors, which are placed in a space in relation to other data objects. Machine learning models are used to compute a vector for each data object and also for each semantic query. So Weaviate really tries to understand your data and your queries. In more detail, this is how Weaviate works with a text factorization module. A pre-trained model, for example, a fast text or bird transformer model, can compute vectors from known concepts. This is, for example, our daily human language. You can add your own data to a Weaviate uh, instance, and all this data will be vectorized using these machine learning models uh, and be placed as vectors and uh, with their own data object into Weaviate. Uh, the, the data objects will thus be indexed by the machine learning models and be placed in the high dimensional vector space. Then you can perform, for example, a search query, uh, which will also be vectorized using machine learning models uh, of Weaviate. For example, let's find a wine that fits with uh, seafood. Weaviate uh, computes uh, does a nearest similarity search and find the objects that lies nearest to your search vector. So the answer that lies closest to the vector of this question will be returned. With Weaviate, you can do the following tasks with unstructured data. You can search through data. You can discover answers to, uh, to your specific questions. You can classify uh, and label your data automatically with machine learning models. And Weaviate can predict relation in your data. Uh, the vector in database, uh, the vector database Weaviate um, has full CRUD support for both data as, and vectors, and you can combine vector search and scalar filters, which means you can combine this uh, semantic search with traditional search. It has a GraphQL and RESTful API, and Weaviate support, supports multiple data types like text, but also images. 
And this is all possible through uh, VV8 modules. So modules can be attached to VV8, uh, to the VV8 core uh, vector database uh, to enable the features I just described in the previous slide. Uh, for example, you can choose to use an image uh, vectorization module to index images and search through these images. Uh, but you can also attach a question answering module. Um, you can also attach any uh, transformer NLP model. Or you can even attach uh, your own machine learning uh, or NLP models. So this allows you to use VV8 really for scaling your own machine learning models uh, to production scale as well. So now let's move on to a demo. Um, I will use a data set of news articles for this demo, and you can also find this uh, demo data set running on our website. You can uh, go here from any uh, code example or query example. So over here, uh, there's a really simple question uh, or query um, to first just see what kind of articles we have in this data set. So I can perform a get query uh, to get all the articles. And here I just want to see their titles, their URLs and their word count. And here I get a list in random order of all the articles. So now, uh, of course, nothing, uh, nothing special or nothing magic is happening here. Um, and just to show you that it is a vector database, you can also query the whole vector of a data object. Uh, so you get the long list of vectors. So now let's only show the title. And as I said, this is just a, a scalar search. So I don't do any machine learning magic here. But now let's, uh, let's take a semantic uh, filter. So for example, let's see if the data set has any articles uh, regarding housing prices. I can perform a near text query. And this filter is added by a specific text factorization module. So let's see if there are articles about housing prices. And you can see this is very abstract uh, question. Um, in here, uh, the list of articles is ordered to the relevancy uh, um, to, the, to the search query. So we have, for example, uh, uh, something about uh, housing um, be becoming the bis biggest asset class, something else about housing prices, um, expensive housing, etc. And note that um, the query housing prices uh, is not an exact match of uh, any of the words here in, in the title. So here you can see that uh, VV8 uses semantics and uh, the context rather than exact matching uh, keywords. We can also ask um, for how certain VV8 is to show certain results. Um, this is called certainty. So here you see that the first result is uh, around 87% uh, yeah, certain that it is matching the search query. Uh, and then we can also make a filter based on this. So now I will show only results that are um, above 80% certain. Uh, all right. Now you can see that this is a very abstract query and we can also make this a bit more concrete. For example, uh, to see the prices of houses in Greece. This is a bit more concrete. And you can see that there's only one result uh, returned now because we made the query more concrete. And this is about um, Athene. So yeah, we can see that uh, VV8 matches uh, Greece here with uh, its, its capital without uh, saying anything about Greece. So as I said, with VV8, you can not only store uh, vectors, but also uh, it stores the whole data objects. So this means you can combine these kind of vector searches with uh, traditional scalar search. And yeah, for example, 
uh, I will show you this. Um, I will add some properties first. So we have, for example, each article appearing in a publication. Um, so we can see that this article, for example, appeared in the Financial Times. This is a graph relation uh, in the in the database. Um, and now I can make a uh, scalar filter combining with this uh, already um, existing vector query. So this is a where search. Um, So now we can see I'm querying for housing prices again, and I want the result to appear in this uh, publication, The Economist. So let's see now. Um, so this first result, it's 87% sure. Um, this is the title, and uh, we can see it appears in The Economist. Um, we can also ask uh, questions to uh, Weaviate or to the data in Weaviate if we have a question answering module uh, available or enabled. Uh, I can also show this, so I will, will remove the previous filters. Uh, so I can ask a question also in a filter. For example, what Oh. What was the monkey doing in the Neura link video? And I will not uh, query the certainty here, but I want to see the answer. And the answer here is um, uh, he was playing mind pong. So if we limit the result to one, and we also ask for the summary, this is the yeah the summary of the article. Um, so the result is that monkey was playing mind pong, and the, the the answer was found somewhere in this whole summary, uh, which is of course the bit of unstructured text that we have here. Okay, so now let's go back to the presentation. Um, so you can use Weaviate for uh, yeah, a big variety of use cases due to the flexibility of choosing uh, your own machine learning model um, or also keeping it very general. So this was my presentation. Uh, thank you for, for listening and watching. Uh, in this presentation, you learned that with the open source, open source search vector engine, uh, Weaviate, you can search through unstructured data. And in addition, you can use Weaviate to bring your own machine learning models uh, to production scale. Thank you and see you.